Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel. Now, when I was first introduced to this concept a little while ago, I was pretty excited with what I was seeing. It uses two technologies that I use on a daily basis and that I think are very, very useful. That is power meters and air tags. Now this week, Four Eyes have released an update to their power meter range, the Precision 3, that enables it to join the Apple Find My network, meaning your bike, or more specifically, your power meter, can be tracked in exactly the same way as an air tag. Now I've done a lot of testing and how-to videos on air tags and bikes, and they still remain to this day a very cheap way of knowing where your things are. Be that lost, misplaced, or stolen, where stolen is something simply misplaced by somebody else. So having a power meter act virtually as an air tag, it's pretty cool stuff. Now it is worth noting at this point in time, Apple Find My Network is only available to those in the Apple ecosystem. So this feature is for those people with iDevices. Four Eyes have dabbled with tracking in the past with Chipolo, but that's now long gone, as the Precision 3 is all about the Apple Find My support. They're calling the new power meter with this tracking the Precision 3 Plus, and for the Jewel, it is the Precision 3 Plus Pro. From a power meter perspective, everything remains the same, and if you'd like to check out the performance of the Precision 3 non-drive side, so the left-hand side, I'll link to this video in the description below. Okay, so back to the AirTag side of things. The hardware you'll need for this, obviously the updated Precision 3 Plus, or for the Jewel, the Precision 3 Plus Pro, which is released in a few weeks' time. Now, if you are an owner of a Precision 3, there is an upgrade path for you to turn your unit into a Precision 3 Plus with this tracking. It does require you to return your unit to Four Eyes in Canada, and this will cost $30. The reason for this return to base and the charge, rather than just a straight firmware upgrade, is an Apple certification requirement. Apple require all units that are compatible with the Find My Network to have a serial or an identification number etched onto the side of them. As you can see here with the Precision 3 Plus that I have on my giant TCR. Activating this feature is straightforward. You'll need to remove the battery and put it back in three times where the LED will start blinking blue. This is how you'll know the unit is in the Find My pairing mode. And then connect to it with the Find My app and add it as you would any other Find My other device. From here, it defaults as a bicycle, which is kind of cute. We hit on connect. It'll come up with the default name. I'm going to call this one 4 Eyes P3 Power Meter. We'll change the icon to a bolt. It will then notify me that it's added and linked to my Apple ID, so not to commit any crimes. And that's it. It has been added to my list of items and air tags that can be tracked with the Find My Network. I won't spend too much time on how it works because it works just like any other air tag, and I'll link below to my other videos on those. Now it is worth noting this doesn't have ultra wide band, so there's no precision finding with this. However, the chances of your bike getting lost down the back of the couch and you having to find it within a few meters is quite low. So I'm sure that won't be missed. As you can imagine, getting something like this certified with Apple takes a number of steps, or there'll be a number of hoops to jump through. And as such, there's some really interesting tech tidbits that I'm gonna dive into with the implementation of the Find My support on the Precision 3 Plus. Starting off with the Find My beaconing mode on the power meter will only work and only be activated when the unit is asleep. When the unit is a power meter, it's just a power meter. As per Apple certification or regulations, you can't be both at the same time with this unit. I believe the timeout is around five minutes, meaning if you pull your bike up at the cafe or it's stationary for five minutes anywhere, it will start beaconing. Its location will be reported back to the Find My HQ by anybody with an iDevice in range. So I don't see that as much of a downside. Next up, the P3 doesn't have any NFC capabilities like an AirTag. So if you put the unit into lost mode, you simply can't have someone come up and just scan the phone nearby and have it pop up a message of what's going on. On the off chance you find a lost Precision 3 Plus, you'll need to use the Find My app to scan for devices around you, to discover it, and then follow the procedures to get to the lost info, be that a phone number or email address that the user has entered. There's also no speaker in the Precision 3 Plus, so you won't get the alerting chirps as you do with an AirTag. That might actually be a good thing because a lot of people are removing the speakers from the AirTags because of it chirping. Uh, the anti-stalking too. Now this is a big one and probably one of the biggest hurdles that Apple themselves had to deal with when implementing AirTags globally. Now the anti-stalking with this will work exactly the same as with an AirTag, which doesn't render them useless in the event of a theft. 
Stalking alerts will take place if the owner, let's say me, isn't within range of my bike and someone takes that bike, goes for a ride and comes back and moves with that unit and returns to a place that they frequent often, such as their home, workplace, etc. And they have an iPhone. Now, thieves will not be alerted as soon as they start riding on their bike for two reasons. One, that's not how air tags work. And two, this unit isn't in beaconing mode when it's a power meter. So if they're riding their bike, they're not going to be alerted. Another example that I'll go through here for the anti-stalking and alerting because it always raises a lot of questions. Let's say someone does take my bike, steals it from the shop, rides home and gets an alert. Well, first of all, good luck to them trying to find the air tag on the bike because it doesn't look like an air tag. It's not chirping. And even if they do find it and remove the battery, the last known location of that bike, likely their home, their work, etc., has been registered with the Find My Network. I can pull up my phone and have a good idea where my bike has ended up. Now, this is much better than just having no information whatsoever. Another example, let's say your bike is stolen, the batteries are removed straight away, and let's say you've got no hope of finding where it is. Well, you can put your item into loss mode and because that serial number is registered to your account online and cannot be changed, as soon as that power meter is sold, someone puts a battery in there, guess what you're gonna be alerted of? It's location. At which time, it's up to you how you'd like to deal with that. Another thing on my list here worth noting is that in iOS 17, which is upcoming, you will have the ability to share air tags or items. Family sharing is coming. This means the people in your Apple family will be able to see the location and also stop any of the alerts they may be getting on your bike or air tags. Look, I think this adds even more value to air tags and to this feature of the Precision 3 Plus. Look, I'd love to see this in more sports technology. Our GPS head units, GoPros or action cams, drones, maybe even in our DI2 and ETAP group sets. I'd also love to see some more cross-vendor compatibility. Yes, I'm talking about Android. Adding that to the already massive iOS network would be huge for this technology. Anyhow, there we are for today. Four eyes doing something super cool with their technology and the Find My Network with Apple. Oh, and by the way, they've also released an Apple Watch app that will pair a power meter, track your cycling, but that one is for another day. Alrighty, with that, thanks for watching. As always, do the YouTube things, the like, the subscribe, and we shall see you soon.